Hello friends, welcome to a new tutorial of uh, StatPro VATI. Today we will be making a steel truss and we will analyze it and we will see how to design the steel truss. So let's start the tutorial. First of all, this is we have to open the StatPro VATI software. This is the starting interface. Click on the new project. Here we will get space plane floor truss. So we will be making truss. So click on truss and uh, give any name. I will be giving truss to uh, select the location. I have already selected. If you want, you can select and give the um, units. I am giving meter kilonewton. Then click next. Here we have to select add beam then finish so we'll be getting a grid here it's loading yeah we have got a grid here so we have to make the truss on the grid so let's see this is our truss we'll be making in the state pro so this length is 2 meter all the lengths are 2 meter only the height also 2 meter so first make the truss we have to change the grid here edit option edit grid now we have to give the spacing here the spacing is 2 meter here also 2 meter so so we got our grid so okay after that make the truss click here in the second point 2 meter 4 meter 6 meter and upwards the height also 2 meter so 2 meter then again 2 meter 4 meter 6 meter close the truss you can see here i have closed the truss so after that click escape and now close the grid so here is a the box portion of the truss let's go to the front view okay this is the bo box portion now we have to make those those portions so click on this add beam cursor you can see the add, add beam option or what uh, or else you can go to the geometry and here is add beam add beam point to point okay i am be i'll be clicking this add beam option and see we have to add these points so add this and this so our truss is ready you can see the same truss we have made here now we have to give the supports here is a pin support and here is a fixed part support so we have to give the supports so for that you can go to support directly here otherwise click on this here you can get the support page see it is showing the support page click on this then click on create so we will be giving one pin support so pin support click on the pin support and add again create this fixed bus support click on fx and mz we will be giving fix, fixed bus support and add now you can see the pin support in this in this point and the fixed bus, fixed bus support in this point so we have to assign those supports click the pin support select the node assign to selected nodes select this this option assign to selected nodes and click on assign yes then click on this fixed bus support support 3 select the node assign to selected nodes and assign yes so support assigning is complete close this tab now we will be giving properties 
see here you can go geometry sorry general and here is a properties properties panel otherwise you can click here also you can see property page if you click this you will be getting this page so I'll, i have clicked this general after that property and the property panel is here you have to click here section database It will take some time to load okay so the section database tab is here so see there are so many codes I'll be clicking the Indian code find out the yeah there is Indian code and you can select any of the shapes I'll be choosing the channel sorry angle section so click the angle section and take the parameters like uh, here is given 20 to 20 to 4 so I will be selecting this second one um, then make sure here the steel is selected in the material panel and click on add okay so close it so then select this assign to view because we will be assigning the whole in the whole structure the same material sorry the same thing so assign to view and assign yes so property is assigned now let's see here load and definition click on load and definition or else you can get the get the load here also see load page so after that load case detail load case detail add select none only no problem uh, load case one add close now select this load case one add First of all, we have to give the self weight for minus one factor. Add, then nodal loads. You can click. You can find here the second one nodal load, and see there are four nodal loads: 25, 20, 10, 15. So add those only in the FY direction. Minus 25. Add minus 20 add minus 15 add minus 10 add then close it now we have to assign self weight it will be going to the whole structure so select the self weight load assign to view and assign yes it is assigned you can see here now 25 kilo newton this 25 kilonewton load will be go in this corner so select the 25 kilonewton okay, first of all uh, okay 25 kilonewton select the corner with this node cursor you have to uh, click the node cursor for selecting the nodes and this is the beam cursor for selecting the beams okay I have taken this node cursor selected this node now click on this the 25 kilonewton node load select assign to selected nodes assign so you can see the beam is assigned here sorry the load is assigned here so again 10 15 20 okay 20 is there select the node 20 assign to selected nodes assign then 10 Okay, 10 is in the middle. So select the node 10 kilonewton. Assign to selected nodes. Assign. And here 15. Assign to selected nodes. Assign. Now we'll be going for analysis. So commands. Analysis. Perform analysis. We don't want any print now. Okay. Analyze. Run analysis save see there is no error one warning is there it is no problem so we can go to the post processing we can watch the post processing but we will see it later okay 
so let's stay in the modeling mode done now we will be going for design so let's go to this design tab here design and see already it is selected steel if it is not selected you have to select the steel design our steel design code is IS800 we have to select the code here IS800 now define parameters sorry first select parameters so we'll be taking all this in this side and we want only the yield strength that is FOLD see you can find yield strength of steel take it there and ok now define parameter I'll be giving this one only the default one you can change it ok add now close now go for commands ok before going to command let's uh, assign this yield strength so yield strength will be for the whole structure so select this assign to view and assign yes so it is assigned now we'll be going for commands and we'll take this one check code we'll be checking the code add we'll be taking this member takeoff add select add takeoff add now i'll tell you why i have selected this check code and select i'll tell you later after the analysis close it assign this check code for assign to view for whole structure steel member takeoff for whole structure steel uh, select for whole structure and steel takeoff for whole structure ok nothing is remaining so now we can go for design commands analysis ok analysis yeah, save now we will get the design result ok let's see the output file done see here is our result so the steel design first of all we will see the steel design see the section I have selected it is uh, due to this section is not like uh, it is not ok for the structure so all the members fail then if you go to the takeoff here you can see the length of the steel whatever it was but it is failed the structure is failed now when you go see there is a, another option steel design select now you can see this design have passed all the members see they have selected the stat pro have selected by their own 13 to 13 to 3 the section and it is passed and you can see the steel takeoff also they have given the total steel the weight of steel and the length of the steel members now why that is why i have selected the code check code and select the what the check code did the check code have checked the code I have selected and according to this when I, I have taken the select command the select command have taken the proper section for the for the structure so that first of all they checked my code my section according to the code this section if this section is not appropriate for the structure so it is failed they have then they have select the proper section again the code have checked the structure according to this section and here it is passed so it is the design of the structure and here this here is the takeoff this is the takeoff so this is the ending of our uh, video so this design result you can save you can print and save here you can make a PDF you can um, save it in your computer or uh, if you want to see the post processing like how it behaves you can go here post processing okay 
so here you can see the for different beams like different forces shear bending deflection you can see the design property here is the property steel design you can see the animation let's see the animation for deflection see it is deflecting due to the loads section displacement you can see okay so see axial force this is the axial force you can click here you can see all the forces acting axial force shear y force shear f in the fz force you can see the bending moment here see the beam stress you can see the stresses here this is the stresses for every single member selected member you can select here and you can see the stresses different graphs okay so this is the end of our video in the next video we'll be making another steel or concrete structure in stat pro and so stay tuned in my channel and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you like this video if you want more videos in my channel regarding stat pro and uh, civil engineering related softwares so please stay tuned and uh, subscribe my channel like this video share it thank you